Boxitex by Kim Smith. Meg was a boxitect. She loved to make things out of boxes. She loved making tiny houses, tall towers, and twisty tunnels. And she made marvelous things no one had ever seen before. Meg was proud of her work. She could make boxes into anything. Meg's mother was proud too. She thought Meg was brilliant and creative. So Meg's mother sent Meg to Maker School where she could be even more brilliant and creative. At Maker School, there were blanketeers, spaghetti techs, tin foilers, and egg cartoneers. There was almost any kind of maker you could imagine. But Meg was the class's first box of tech, and that made her feel special. At school, Meg learned all about box architecture. She learned how to make her structures useful, strong, and beautiful. Meg loved everything about maker school. Until Simone showed up. Like Meg, Simone was new. She was also brilliant and creative. Worst of all, Simone was a box detect too. And she was already making things Meg had never dreamed of. In class, Simone would point out ways Meg could make her constructions a little straighter, more wind resistant, and less boring. So Meg told Simone she should build things that were less bumpy, sturdier, and much prettier. On the last day of school, the class's annual maker match was held to see who could make the most amazing thing. There was just one rule. You had to work as a team. But Meg didn't want to work with anyone, and neither did Simone. The blanketeers built with blankets and pillows. The spaghetti techs built with pasta and glue. The bakeologists built with cake and frosting. But the box techs were not building at all. They were arguing. I want to make a tree house, Meg shouted. No, I want to make a ship, Simone insisted. Meg drew a line down the middle of a very large box. I'll take this half, you can have the other. Fine, said Simone. Soon Meg noticed that her tree house wasn't as large as Simone's ship, so she made her side taller and more impressive. When Simone noticed that Meg's tree house was taller than her ship, she made her side higher and more extraordinary. Slowly, Meg and Simone's creation grew bigger and bigger. They both built and built until there wasn't a single box left. And at last, they finished. What is it? asked a classmate. I've never seen anything like it, said another. The teacher said, it looks like it might. Your side was too wobbly, shouted Meg. Your side was too heavy, cried Simone. Oh dear, said the judge. The maker match was not over yet, but most of Meg and Simone's work was ruined. There were only a few parts left that could be saved. If we combine my treehouse with your ship, Meg started, we might be able to make one thing, finished Simone. The box techs decided to call a truce so they could finish the match. Working as a team, Meg and Simone quickly joined the remaining pieces together until they had created something new. At the end of the maker match, the box techs hadn't won first place, but they had a different way of making brilliant and creative things working together. And they each gained a new friend. What should we make next? How about a buoyant bungalow? Or a motorcycle mansion? Why is cardboard so extraordinary? An experiment. Cardboard boxes are so amazing because they're corrugated. Corrugated means there is a piece of folded material sandwiched between two flat pieces of the same material. This makes cardboard super strong and super light. Let's try making our own corrugated cardboard. First, stack the three pieces of paper and try to balance your object on top. Did it fall off? Now, let's try balancing the object again on corrugated paper. Fold the long piece of paper like a fan. Expand the folded pieces and place it in between the two flat sheets. Now try balancing the object again. Boxitech challenge. What can make your cardboard even stronger? Try different sizes of fans or different kinds of paper to see what holds up best. Supplies. Two pieces of paper that are the same size. One longer piece of paper. A small object such as a toy. Be a Boxitech. How does Meg turn completely ordinary boxes into extraordinary things? All it takes is imagination. Here are two projects to get you started on your way to des designing and building your own creations. 
supplies, at least three large cardboard boxes. The more boxes you have, the longer your tunnel will be. Duct tape, craft knife and or scissors, ask an adult for help with the cutting, paint, markers, stickers, etc. Build a Boxatech tunnel. One, open up both ends of each box. Two, line up boxes in a row with flaps slightly overlapping. Three, tape the boxes together with duct tape. Four, cut out any windows and doors you want. Five, decorate your new tunnel. Boxatech challenge. Make your tunnel unique. Try a door made of streamers using a string of lights or even adding a cardboard periscope. If you have a lot of boxes, try making a tunnel maze. Build a Boxatech castle. Supplies. One large cardboard box, four medium boxes, roughly similar in size, duct tape, scissors or craft knife, be sure to have an adult help with cutting, paint, markers, stickers, etc. String or yarn. One, open flaps of two medium boxes and tape the boxes together to form a column. Do the same with the other two medium boxes. Two, tape the flaps at the top of the two columns and the flaps of the large box so the top flaps are standing up. Three, cut the tops of the large box and columns into a crown pattern. Four, draw an upside down U-shaped door on the front of the large box and cut along the line, leaving the bottom of the door attached and fold the door downward. Five, at the top of the door, punch a small hole in either side and in either side of the doorway. Run a string through the hole in one side of the door and through the hole in the same side of the large box. Tie knots in both ends of the string to secure. Repeat on the other side of the doorway. Six, draw two windows on the top of the columns and cut out. Seven, tape columns to large box, if desired, and decorate your castle. Box Attack Challenge. Castles have many different passageways and rooms, including sometimes secret ones. Can you find a way to connect the towers inside the main part of the castle? Can you add more towers or walls to make your castle bigger?